Hey Hickok45 here. Haven't done a vlog for a while. I guess uh, when we made the Gunner announcement was the last one and that was just mainly about Gunner. And it had been a while before that I think since I just sat around and chatted with you in person where you could see me and not just listen to me on the radio show. So anyway, we thought we'd come over back on the lower 40, upper 40, secret spot here on the compound. I don't guess you've seen this spot. Uh, but anyway, we are uh, over here in near the woods. Of course, it's almost all woods. That's why I like it. And I would just talk to you a little bit uh, about some things. I don't know what. Actually, I have a couple of things or I wouldn't have uh, brought the chair over here. Made myself comfy, right? We haven't talked to you since the NRA convention, not in person. So thought I would just kind of bring a little of that information to you. Uh, not that it's uh, vital information, but we really enjoyed the NRA convention, John and I did in St. Louis, uh, mainly the exhibits. We go to the NRA convention not to go to meetings. Uh, there's a lot of uh, politicking and, and whatnot that goes on there, of course, and I'm not as involved in that, really, other than being an avid supporter of all the, the gun rights organizations. And I still feel like, as I have uh, mentioned before to people, that one of the, the best things that we can do, uh, John and I can do, is what we're doing and just hopefully foster a healthy interest in the shooting sports and in you know, firearm safety, using firearms responsibly. To me, that's the number one job. And then uh, I'll, I'll let other people, I'll help pay other people to walk the halls of Congress and, uh, and do what they do, do well. But uh, so we just try to do what we do and uh, show people how much fun it is to shoot. And if people can't tell that from watching our channel. They, they're not watching very, very closely, are they? So we go for the exhibits, for the, um, for the, for the guns, <laughs> imagine that. You've got every manufacturer there, plus just about everybody who makes anything, uh, any accessories, you know, to firearms, knives, you know, set up there with all their stuff, everything, new, old, whatever. And so, and you can handle it, you know, y'all know that, we've talked about that before, and you've maybe been there before. So it's a, it's a neat opportunity to, to do that and just see everything. Uh, if you've never been to a convention like that, you really need to go one year, put it on your calendar and try to go. I think it's that, that one's in Houston next year and maybe it's closer to you, it's farther for us, but just beautiful. I mean, you know, Glock for example, or Smith & Wesson for example, or FN or whatever, they have a booth quote unquote, bigger than your house, my house, you know, it's, 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 that's the beauty of it. And, and uh, you walk through rooms and find guns here and there and, you know, and test them, handle them. So it's that kind of thing. And, you know, it's a, it's a gun lover's uh, dream. It's just that simple. Yeah. And uh, I enjoyed handling some guns that, that you all have recommended or talked about a lot, whether like the FNS, those guns, testing out the striker fired triggers and you know the the H and Ks, the, I mean you name it. Uh, the the new shield, the uh, the XDS that's coming out from Springfield should be coming out pretty soon. Uh, you know I, I think it's it's been delayed. Of course it was supposed to be out a few weeks ago, but uh, we're supposed to get our hands on one when it comes out. So I'm anxious to try that. It felt pretty good and it is small and it is thin. And it's hard to believe it's in 45. So uh, that looks like an interesting gun, just like the the shield. I think the the XDS is smaller than the shield. Doesn't make it better, makes it different. You know, the uh, the uh, shield is bigger than my uh, my car PM9, and the shield to me, as I handled it there at the convention and as we've shot it, uh, and still in my possession, got to get it back to the owner here a few days is uh, a nice gun, it's a little bigger, it's a little longer, uh, the grip's a little longer, not necessarily a pocket gun, it can be. So, so every gun like that that comes out has a niche, it has a purpose, so it's kind of interesting to just try them out and uh, see what I think about them and try to pass that along to you. It's, uh, it's good to be able to get, get our hands on some of that stuff before too long, which is it's nice. Lots of times, you know, we're six months, a year, five years before I get around to uh, checking something out or getting it in a video either way is fine we don't you know, what we do is not based on you know getting the newest guns out all the time but it's nice to do that occasionally 
especially uh, the carry guns or guns like that, that that I'm very interested in uh, because, as you know, if you watch the channel, I really like effective little firearms, little pistols, you know, that, that you can shoot well, but they're small. I, I just like that genre of firearms, and I like to test them and see what I think about them. But anyway, we, it was fun going through there and, and uh, meeting a lot of you, you know, <laughs> a lot of you. That was, that was, that's, to me, that's what I look forward to as much as anything uh, nowadays is because I get to meet a lot of you folks that are on the other side of the computer screen, whereas you know that, that John and I are here at the compound, uh, uh, you know, doing these things. And there's no one else around except all I've got is ugly John to look at there and all he's got ugly me to look at. We're spending so much time working on these things. So it's kind of nice to, to get out and meet you guys, gals, that actually watch the videos, you know, and, and make comments and message me. So uh, that's a very enjoyable aspect of gun shows and uh, the NRA convention, which is the ultimate gun show. I thought a bird dropped on me, but it was water. <laughs> uh, what else there? It was nice meeting some of the YouTubers. Uh, uh, Sturm Gewehr and uh, uh, Fate of Destiny. You might have seen a funny little video posted on Sturm Gewehr's uh, channel <laughs> at the High Point booth where we did. And uh, we had dinner one night. Uh, that, was, that, was, that was nice. So uh, got to, we don't get to do that very often either, hang out with some of the other people that, that do this kind of thing. So uh, we enjoyed that. Uh, just, just fun. You know. uh, how can it not be? You're in a room, the biggest room you can imagine, with almost every gun that's manufactured in that room. Um, that's that's pretty close to heaven, isn't it? <laughs> it really is. Uh, what else about the convention? I don't know. Well, I talked to some uh, some manufacturers. I've, I don't know. So maybe some follow-up to do. Maybe we'll get uh, some other T and E guns when we want them. I don't know. You know, we're uh, we're able to get some things like from Beretta now if we want to. They've got some new uh, rifles out, coming out, some different things. And we got the CX-4 Storm, still have it. And we'll do another video with it probably. Fun little gun. Uh, there are just so many great guns coming out. You know, the little takedown 1022 is glad to get a hold of one of those. Uh, just just wonderful firearms. The, the firearms business, if you don't know this, you probably do, is doing well these days. It's, it's very healthy because you and I are buying a lot of guns and ammunition. There's so many people getting into shooting that it's there is no uh, economic problem in the firearms industry. You know, it's it's really an isolated. It's like an oasis from this uh, slow or depressed economy. It really is. So they're they're working overtime trying to meet demand, uh, researching development, and uh, the ammo companies. <laughs> so they're virtually untouched uh, by by the, the downturn in the economy. So that side of it is really good. So we're seeing a lot of fine firearms come out. Maybe some that are not needed, you know. That's the way it goes. It's competitive, and there are some firearms. Maybe you see them at the compound occasionally. I don't know. Sometimes, uh, I don't know, you got to fool with a gun, shoot at some before you realize after a while, maybe, maybe there's not a place for that gun. Maybe that's nothing I'm dying to have, but it's, it's cool, you know. Doesn't mean there's not 10,000 people who are not interested in it and will buy it, though. So, it's good times in the firearm business, good times. Uh, so, uh, we will be getting some more guns in to look at. We're gonna, we, we are really behind on a lot of firearms that, that I have, that I own. We've not gotten out and done either Chapter 2s, or you haven't seen them in a long time. I haven't shot them for a long time. I miss them, whether it's my 3-inch 44. We, we have so many things we're doing in firearms and things we, we want to get out and do. And, that uh, and then we got to send back, or you know, someone offers us something and we need to do something with it and you know, return it. And we have a hard time getting to things that we just want to do. I don't know, maybe we just need a slow time really so we can get out some things that we need to get out and shoot, like the 44s and the, the cap and ball pistols, more muzzle loading stuff because uh, I, I like all of it and the shotgunning, even. And then, uh, so. So this summer, we'll have more time to do that. We're going to catch up with some things and uh, even have more variety than we've had, I think. So we're looking forward to that. Shoot some more food, right? <laughs> it just came to me. Uh, you know, every now and then we get that comment about shooting food and starving people, and I, I can't say too much about that. Again, 
my sarcastic side will get the better of me. I have to try to control that sometimes. But uh, please, uh, well, it's not you guys watching this, but you know, there's just some people don't understand the economy and how it works. And I guess they don't watch Hollywood movies, you know. Uh, someone wrecks a $50,000 car, uh, that's not starving somebody. I, you know, and it's actually not, but you know, it probably it would come closer than our shooting a cantaloupe, you know, or a uh, two liter. So I don't know. It's, it's funny that the folks who don't really understand how the economy works and uh, why people might be hungry in certain places. Uh, so anyway, I think John and I do our part for the economy. <laughs> no doubt about that. But anyway, uh, that's a never ending battle. I think I have an FAQ on that, in fact. So, so we do that occasionally. We do uh, help the economy by, by doing it. We help the farmers. We help the food producers by, uh, by doing those things occasionally. And I have a monthly donation that goes to the food bank. You know, I can't think of a more worthy cause than, than helping people you know, buy food or supplying food for people that, that cannot afford it. You know? And uh, so the food industry needs to stay really strong, as it is. And John and I feel like we're doing our part to, to help that. And we're helping several industries, I believe, or you are, indirectly, right? Uh, what else was I going to talk about? Uh, one thing before I forget, as always, I want to thank you all for your support. You know, we're, what are we up to 183 or 4,000 viewers or, or uh, subscribers now? Continues to grow. I don't know where all these people uh, come from, to tell you the truth. But and then of course the the uh, the love is still strong. Uh, you know, as well as the, the you know the occasional troll, but that goes with the, the territory. The, uh, you know, we're just, we just are so happy that so many people enjoy watching these videos, as I've said before, and I'm still getting those messages, uh, you know, regularly from, from people that goes beyond just, I enjoy your videos and it, it, uh, it's heartwarming and, you know, we, we, again, we just do what we enjoy doing mostly shooting, shooting interesting targets occasionally, trying out new guns, uh, showing you old guns, uh, just the kind of stuff that I have always done, John has done for a lot of years himself. We just like to shoot a variety of firearms and enjoy them. It's, it's, it's a hobby, you know, and uh, glad we could bring it to you. And glad that apparently we're bringing it in a way that, that most of you, uh, if not all of you, enjoy. And or you wouldn't be watching a vlog, a boring vlog, me sitting in a chair talking to you, right? So we really do appreciate that uh, more than you know. I mean, we just really do because you are giving us the opportunity to do more of it and to kind of focus on it when we have time and think about you know, what it is that you would enjoy the most, what firearms you would enjoy, being receptive at times to, well, we're always receptive, we just can't always act on it, but being uh, receptive to your suggestions, uh, various firearms you, you want to see, uh, again, I, I see all those recommendations and uh, not trying to ignore anybody. We just can't do every firearm, of course, uh, as I've talked about in the radio show. Sometimes it's a little bit random. For all I know, two people will offer us a gun next week that we would like to, to use and, and do a video with because mainly we know that a lot of you would like to see it, you know. And that puts something else back uh, down the ladder a little bit, perhaps, because someone's offered us something kind of interesting, or a teeny gun comes rolling in. Uh, it, it's it's a little bit random in that sense, uh, but but we know what, well, at least we think a lot of you would enjoy seeing. We know for sure what we would enjoy shooting. <laughs> I don't have to tell you that, do I? But we really appreciate the, the support. I, and I really appreciate. I'm seeing a kind of an uptick in uh, in assistance. I think on the uh, channel too, with uh, comments and different things where where you all are. And I've tried to encourage this, you know, in radio shows and everything, for you all to jump in there and answer questions because I, I can't get to everybody. I can't get to all the comments, and I just can't. I spend most of my time in private messages answering questions there, and and everything else. And I need you to do that to help help uh, really control and 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 put the comment section mostly in your hands, you know. And and for newer viewers, don't expect an answer in the comment section. Sometimes, you know, you'll get one there, but it is random. It's very random. 
Uh, so you all help me with that. And, you know, help me with the trolls. Help me, uh, you know, police that and keep it keep it sane as much as you possibly can. Uh, I really appreciate it. We have 600, about 620 videos, I guess, something like that. Obviously, there is no way I can get around and see all those videos, those comments. I catch some of them here and there sporadically. Uh, I get notified by you all. I appreciate that when there's something just absolutely horrendous. Uh, Sometimes, isn't it amazing how, how bizarre some people can be? <laughs> I've been around this planet a while, but it is just bizarre, isn't it? Uh, somebody, you know, sitting in their basement, the stuff that they, they might say. But, but uh, I get notified of some of that occasionally, and then sometimes I can't find it when I go to the video. And, and, and maybe you've already voted it down so badly it doesn't show up and I don't find it. But, but anyway, I appreciate you all helping me with that. That is one of the, the pleas that, you know, that I have. You know, I, I repeat every now and then, but please continue that. I really do appreciate that. We, uh, we do the best we can hanging on to this thing. I mean, it's like having a tiger by the tail in a lot of ways. You know, it, it's gotten so big and with so many videos and it's, it's difficult to manage. I think anybody will tell you that that has a lot of videos out there. It's just a lot to keep up with and, uh, and just keep it sane. But we appreciate it, and uh, we're enjoying doing it. And I'm, I'm about to get a little more free time here in a few weeks, so we will uh, we'll be doing some uh, maybe some different things. Uh, we might go through a spell where we'll post more videos than we have been. I don't know. It depends on the weather and, and all that. But we've got a long list of things we want to do. As I said, it involves some of the older guns, some of the uh, double-action revolvers, the cap and ball. Uh, pistols, you know, revolvers, uh, some of the new guns again. Guns we've we've done one video with, you know, whether it's a CZ-75, or, you know, or the Beretta Nano. We have so many things uh, there on the on the list that, that we want to get to, and we will, because one thing you can be sure of, we enjoy doing this, <laughs> really do. I mean, I mean, think about it. Whatever is on your to-do list, and you probably have some interesting things on your to-do list. I have a long to-do list. I have a lot of things, you know, work and everything else. But one of my to-do lists is you need to shoot this gun. You need to get some ammo and shoot that gun. You need to shoot that gun and uh, do this and that and show that knife and talk about that knife. That's a pretty interesting to-do list. That's not a to-do list that you dread looking at or, or getting around to doing, right? <laughs> well, anyway, I ramble and I, uh, I digress. Uh, we're enjoying what we do, and we're glad you're watching. And I won't prolong the agony. I'll let you go here. I don't want to keep you up too late tonight, okay? You need to get your sleep so you can get up early and you can watch all the Hickok 45 video. Oh, now there's something I should mention again. I noticed from a lot of comments, even some private messages, some of you are being delinquent. Now, I know for some of you it's because you're new, but you should be working your way through that backlist. If you have watched all 600 and whatever, 18, 19, 20 videos, then you are a true loyal viewer of the Hickok 45 channel. And uh, I, tell me that sometimes, you know, in a comment or in a private message. If you're someone who has seen every single video and you know you have, you're not just blowing smoke, uh, let us know about that. I mean, you're. You're in an elite club. You are a special person. We love you. All you have to do is go back and watch them again, right? No, no, there probably are very few who have watched every single video. And uh, that should be on your to-do list. I just think you should know that. <laughs> uh, I promise I've not been drinking. Uh, just a little Diet Coke. Um, but I just enjoy talking to you. And you guys are the ones that, and gals that, that make it work. So tune in to Hickok 45 watch us and uh we will make some noise that's all i can promise life's good